Welcome into a new edition of War Chant TV. I'm Aslan Hajavandi. He is managing editor, five star Ira Schofell. Game week. We made it, Ira. First day, but the most important thing was the first comment out of Willie Taggart's mouth today, naming the starting quarterback. Um, <clears throat> just want to announce we um, decided our quarterback, DeAndre Francois, would be our quarterback, um, starting against um, Virginia Tech, and um, had a very, very healthy competition going and was really good. and. I thought all of our guys got better, and um, as a staff, um, we decided DeAndre was uh, the best for us, and we're going to go that way. Coach, why DeAndre? Um, I think when, we, when you watch the body of work um, in the short amount of time he's been out there, and, and uh, when he's in there and, and running the offense, it's, it's a lot more efficient and um, a lot less um, mistakes. And I think that's important when playing the position. Let me ask you this, I guess. If it is the whole body of work, does that just mean that DeAndre Francois really wowed in these limited sort of practices he had and he didn't have spring? Or is just he didn't see maybe enough from the other guys in the spring to, to give them the job, I guess? Yeah, I think it's, it's kind of what we've seen. You know, we felt like they've got three capable quarterbacks. I think certainly two guys have played in uh, DeAndre Francois and James Blackman. Uh, and I think they, they're both solid. I don't think anybody has been like a superstar. It hasn't been cut and dry. I think Willie Taggart would have maybe announced it earlier if it was that cut and dry. I do think DeAndre is the best choice. I thought that he would be the choice, assuming he was healthy and assuming he made all the right decisions off the field. That seems to be the case. And, uh, you know, I think he's the best choice. But no, I don't think it's a wow, he just blew everybody else away. They got a starting quarterback. Seems like uh, other bodies of importance will be returning to the lineup to some uh, injury updates he gave us. Yeah, uh, I mean, a really good news in the sense that Marvin Wilson uh, played in the scrimmage son. That's a really, really good sign. Uh, he played practiced the first couple weeks in camp, but wasn't cleared for full contact. The fact that he uh, participated in the scrimmage is huge. Um, he did not answer really clearly on Josh Kando, and then we noticed uh, today at practice Josh Kando still seemed to be with the guys who are rehabilitating, so that doesn't look like a great sign for him necessarily playing this week. We'll see. It doesn't rule him out, but it's not a great sign. They also held out a few guys that, had, that um, were healthy. Brian Burns, Cam Akers, Jacques Patrick. Those guys are totally fine, but they held them back because they don't really need to see anything else from them. Uh, and then, you know, some other guys, Dontavious Jackson, I think is closer to full speed. Uh, he said Stanford Samuel still has a good chance of getting back for the Virginia Tech game. So, yeah, I think overall they're getting close to, to full strength going into the season. Guy, guys heal a little different differently here, he said there. So also uh, from the scrimmage, we were able to talk to Willie about that. It was close to the media, it was close to the public, and he uh, rattled off a whole bunch of uh, top performers, if you will, from Saturday's scrimmage. Really, really impressed with um, uh, A.G. and Anthony Grant. Um, He's really, really impressive. Uh, had one heck of a scrimmage. Um, same as Amir, had a really good scrimmage on that side. Um, same, Warren, another freshman, had a um, good practice. Um, Go on the defense side of the ball, Cyrus Fagan had a good one. Jaden Woodby, uh, Brooks. Anthony Grant, I mean, that, that's maybe the second time we've heard something of, of high praise for that young man. Yeah, I'm talking to people who were at the first scrimmage, the second scrimmage was locked down from a lot of people. There were more people observing the first scrimmage, and I heard a lot of good things about Anthony Grant from that scrimmage. It continued again. Willie singled him out as playing really well in that scrimmage. He's a guy that's going to be a factor. He's a true freshman in a loaded offensive backfield, but I think he's going to be a factor at running back. Uh, talking to Brian Burns, he made the comment that uh, he didn't play in the scrimmage, but he did say there were some things that bothered him about the scrimmage, some missed assignments, some things like that. It sounds like this one was very even. The first one, uh, the offense one, it sounds like this one was pretty even. R Ricky Aguayo told us he uh, kicked a few field goals in a couple extra, or three extra points and two field goals. So that gives you an idea that the offense was scoring. Uh, and this was not a situational scrimmage, this right. was up and down the field. So I think it was pretty balanced. And I think Willie Taggart, as you heard from the comments, seemed really excited about it. Yeah, we'll take it. You don't want it to be one sided, nice and even keeled going into the opener. All right, we'll have plenty up on warchant.com today. I imagine starting quarterback is named. You'll hear from each of the captains that was announced, and I'm sure you'll have something for us too. All right, no I'll pressure. Have a little something, something. No pressure. All right, he's Irish, a fellow Maslow. Thanks for watching.